Hi guys and welcome back to the vlog. This is a, a new chapter in the vlog life. As you can see, I'm in my van. This is my van. This is Nevis. This is the height of my gimpiness. I feel like I'm on an away mission just now. I bought this about two weeks ago. So obviously I told you in one of my last vlogs that I might be not able to make as many vlogs in the coming weeks because I, was, I wasn't I was mobile, I didn't have a car. And not only do I have a car, I have a fully fledged spaceship. <laughs> this thing can take me anywhere. It drove me from Coventry. I picked it up from Coventry about two weeks ago. It's an absolute dream come true. It's not converted as you can see. I'll give you the tour. It's a bit messy, but I'll give you the tour in a minute. Actually, even though I had access to a van before, I never actually slept in it. So I'm going to be sleeping in this tonight. I'm nervous and I'm excited, but I'm in a sort of unofficial designated campsite and there's three other vans either side of me. There's a couple of like fully fledged motorhomes either side and stuff. So, and I'm right next to a beautiful beach, but I've literally just been out for a walk, like a little quick stoat about to try and find some food and stuff. And then I've come back to the van. So I'm hoping to try and go out and get a bit of sunset shooting done, but that's on the beach down there. It's very recognizable, this beach, mostly for the beach huts. So so stay tuned though because this whole weekend I'm away for three days and I'm going to be away in the van for three days. I can't wait to show you what I'm getting up to tomorrow. It's all about the autumnal trees tomorrow. I'm going to places that I've never been to before so I'm going to take you with me and I'm going to be meeting someone tomorrow and you just obviously connect the dots, beach huts, Fintorn. So that's where I am just now. But um, yeah, so tomorrow morning the plan is, is to go out shooting very early in the morning, probably for sunrise and then um, just see where the day takes us. So that's going to be really cool. I can't wait to show you what we're going to get up to. But for tonight, Tonight we're going to do hopefully a wee sunset shoot if the weather plays ball. If not, I'm going to get snuggled in. I'm going to, I've got a, a second device with me so I can sit and watch stuff in the van and just chill out and um, have my dinner, get up nice and early for tomorrow. I hope you're as excited as I am because I cannot wait to take you with me. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the van just now. There's the front. Oh, this is why it goes. It's, there's the front. There's my LED lights. I'm just going to brighten everything up a little bit because it seems a bit dark. So there's the front, there's my lights, there's the roof up there but it's not open just now. But you press that button there and the roof goes up so it's really cool. So yeah the driver's seats, I've already Pamela proofed them because I tend to fall a lot in landing puddles so they've been waterproofed. So take a step back and we have the two seats here which fold down and they become tables which are really handy because then you can access the three point seat belts on both sides which I've kept them just now. And then I'll move over here. So you can see what I've done here, that's my blackout blind at the back. You've got another bench of seats here with my little cushion and all my camera gear. And then at the back, uh, you've got a kitchen unit. There's a little unit that I built, there's my light. And basically, just flick that seat forward. Wah, that's too bright. That has my cool box and all my crap down there, my, my stove's down there. But that's actually made out of worktop material, so I can actually put the stove on there and then cook on it. So. That's a plan, hopefully later, and um, that's all my rubbish sweeties and stuff down there. And there's another port here so I can plug all my lights and stuff into. Yeah, it's very basic. I mean, there's literally enough space to keep a cool box, um, some pots and pans, and then on the other side, there's two little compartments down there where you can put all your stuff as well. So it's a very quick tour. It's a very rough and ready wee van. We've called it Nevis Fanzilla because it's got a couple of bashes on it and it looks like it's been in a fight with somebody. <laughs> But do you know what? It's a 25 year old van, so I think that just adds to the character of it. Inside is immaculate, outside not so much, but that can be fixed and it's just cosmetic to be honest. There's nothing um, that stops it from driving. It has this MOT with flying colours, no advisories. Um, had the head gasket done, which if you know bongos, they don't like their head gaskets. It's definitely been a bit of a dream come true this. Anyway, I've given you a quick tour. I'll give you a proper tour of the van in another video where I put the roof up and stuff and show you what it does and I'll show you outside of it and things. I've got some pot noodles and I'm starving, so I'll speak to you tomorrow morning. <laughs> arrived at my location for today and as you can see behind me the autumn colours are in full bloom they are stunning I'm going to just walk down to what I can see just down here which is this sort of really cool rocky formation in the water and it's called Randolph's Lake So I'm not sure how much you can see just now, as you can see, the rain did in fact come, which is fully expected, but sometimes that's good for woodland photography because it makes everything look really misty. That's part of the Randolph's Loop kind of stretch of water. It's absolutely fantastic here. It's, the colours are just 
amazing they're so vibrant and even this rain isn't dampening them sort of backlight sun would be nice here but it, i mean you can't have it all so <laughs> this is just gorgeous even in the rain it's just gorgeous it reminds me a lot of like perthshire killy like you can tell this is still sort of big tree country the rain actually helps with that it almost kind of saturates everything so it looks even more vibrant so i've been running up and down this whole sort of river bank just taking loads of photos and i'll post all my favorites at the end as usual but i'm shooting this scene here um, basically just because there's two big massive boulders at the front that sort of good foreground to lead you in and then the water sort of traipsing over them and then going straight through the scene so I've done a bit of a long exposure because it's only 8 o'clock in the morning so it's still dark enough that we can pull that off so I basically ramped up everything to F22 um, and I had a 4 second exposure to get the shot I'm going to go for a wander back up towards the van because the person that actually came to meet um, I've lost it already so <laughs> I'm really bad I just go off and walks and just end up lost so I'm on a trail somewhere I have to get back on the main trail so I can go find her. But um, yeah, let's see if we can go find her. So I've um, come back up onto the woodland sort of area and um, it's bucketing down as you can hear. So apologies for the really bad audio in advance. I've managed to find her. Uh, I haven't lost her. I thought she'd maybe fell in the water or she thought I'd fell in the water. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> There she's there. So I found Kim and we're going to go for a wander further down the river and just see where we end up. We've got a couple of places planned for today so who knows where we're going to end up but it's going to be awesome fun. I have to say I'm really enjoying this little wander. This is a place I've never been to before. Fresh eyes all the way here and it's raining and it's not even bothering me. It's, it's so peaceful and so gorgeous and this is exactly what I needed after all that lockdown stuff. I feel like I haven't been out properly, I have been out, but obviously like not properly, like just having a wander somewhere brand new and exploring. Like, that's what it's all about, is that exploration and I'm kind of overwhelmed by this place, I'm, I feel like I'm still taking it all in. You don't have to lug your gear like miles to come in. Yeah, this is exactly what I needed. A wee refresher to get me back in the photography game again. Now I've not taken any photographs on this part of the walk yet, I've got a leaf stuck to my hair. You couldn't have told me I had a leaf <laughs> Um, I haven't taken any photographs here yet, but I did take two photographs earlier and they were very abstract actually for me But I did take the sort of, as you saw, the standard river shot But I'm excited to see what else is down here I'll keep you posted So the lens is getting absolutely soaking wet, but what a fantastic scene behind me We've just come down this little beach um, woodland and beaches, you don't exactly associate them together, but this place is something else. So we've actually driven to our second location now and we're up beside a bridge. I don't know the name of this place, um, I'll have to ask him what it's called, but it's absolutely fantastic. Just up there, you can see some mist rolling in, so we're hoping that's going to stick around for the majority of the day or the morning because of this heavy rain, and it is, it's a 100% chance of rain for the next couple hours. So I'm um, down here and I've already spotted quite a few compositions at the beach side. There's um, all these sort of mossy trees behind me which are just like saturated with this rain. And because they're so bright and white they just stand out from the rest of the landscape. So I'm just trying to find a composition down here. Okay, you're going to have to excuse a bad quality phone. <laughs> Don't you know that's in focus? <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you what I'm shooting just now. Obviously you can see this gorgeous scene behind me. I'm shooting that tree there. And as you can see, I've got my f-stop way, 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 way up to f20, it's shooting at 0 0.4 and that's really just to smooth out this little bit of water here, just to sort of make it look as misty as the top half of the frame, which there's a bit, there was a bit of mist rolling behind that tree there and it just looked awesome. Now I'm going to walk up and down this beach because it is absolutely fantastic and see what else I can find, but uh, so far this image might actually be one of my favourites from today. Oh my goodness, this camera is taking quite a beating today. <laughs> it's still raining, obviously. Um, I'm going to stand here so you can kind of see me. It's uh, still raining. I've found another composition down here, and as you can see behind me, there's all these like really cool swirly bits of water here. So I've been sitting working on a composition there. So this is what I'm looking at just now. And I'm on a beach, which is odd in the middle of woodland. I've never seen anything like this before. This is um, absolutely, ah, I got a drip right in my eye. Uh, this is amazing. <laughs> I've never been on a beach in the middle of woodland before. This is um, apart from Loch Morlock. 
this is absolutely fantastic. There's um, loads of misty rain about, all the good stuff that we love. Um, I've got all these little swirlies happening in the water. They're providing some really good foreground. I was hoping for some sort of close-up shots of like something I could isolate, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. So I'm taking big wide shots just now because I'm basically going with what I have to work with. But this is quite a place. Still don't know the name of it, but <laughs> it's quite a place. I'm trying not to step on any of that because it's totally untouched and it looks amazing. We must be the only people down here today because of the rain, so we've pretty much got the whole place to ourselves. So I'll talk you through what I was just shooting. Behind me, as you can see, there's that big massive expanse of space and it just looks beautiful. Now these um, white parts in the water aren't as sort of obvious here because you're sort of shooting down away from that big triangle of nonsense up there. What I've been doing, oh there's mist coming in now, look at that, look at that. So cheeky, all that low clouds just coming in. So what I've been doing is I've actually done a panorama here, which um, on these kind of landscapes works really, really well. So I was shooting the 24 to 70 lens at 24 mil. I was shooting at f8. I think I was shooting at fourth of a second to try and get the, the shot that I wanted because I wanted a little bit of motion in that water. And because it's a panorama, because you're panning across, you won't really notice any sort of imperfections in that either, which is quite handy. The panorama will look fantastic, and even if it's just a, a sort of um, ends up being just like a 16 by 9 crop, um, that's what I'm visualising at the moment. And all these colours and all this low hanging clouds, all the elements are here, so it makes for a really good panorama. Obviously, you've got all the colours and stuff as well in the background, which you can't see there, but up there. So it all works and it just looks brilliant. So I'm really, really happy with this image, which I'll show you just now. So I've literally just taken a picture here and it's pretty obvious to see why. This is the laziest picture. And <laughs> it's almost as like a tourist picture. I've literally stood at this bridge here and um, just shot that scene behind me, which I, you could just see there. Look at that, it's, oh, it's just gorgeous. Look at all those swirls. You could literally spend all day here. It's unreal, absolutely unreal. So I've no idea where we're going next. I'm basically getting, to, getting taken on a little tour. Look at those grey hairs, my God. I'm um, basically getting taken on a little tour and um, loving every second of it, it's absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to have to try and film this without falling down there. So just up from the bridge we stopped at, we've come down to this trail and look at this tree. It's just bending out into the water and it looks absolutely amazing. So I've just spent a good five minutes here trying to find a composition and using this tree, or this bit here, as an anchor point, sort of meandering down into the sort of water down below and it just looks awesome. Not what I expected to get here, but that just looks amazing. I'm going to head back along and see what else I can find. This place has completely and utterly surprised me. Just the absolute variety of shots you can get here. And I still don't know the name of the place, which is probably not a bad thing. But um, I'm not sure how Kim's getting on. I've lost it again, as long as she's not fell down there. So I'm going to walk back up to the bridge and see if I can find her. We're just out for a stroll. <laughs> you don't know what team mate is <laughs> uh, So we're just out for a wee stroll. So we're in this... Um, we went to a, a, a wee sort of um, a wee burn walk earlier, but um, it was really dark. There wasn't a lot of atmosphere there, so we've changed locations again, and we're in another location. And we're on a sort of woodland walk at the moment, and we're going to head to a lock, hopefully. Bright spark here decided we might come through the forest on the way back to the car because I've already spotted some awesome trees in amongst the forest over there. And again, it's all about variety. There's um, there's loads of sort of Caledonian pines and Scotch pines we're walking through just now. But through there was those like birches that are already yellow and stuff. So excited to see what we can get on the walk back as well. So I'm excited to see the lock and we're excited to see what we get coming back. So the weather has calmed down a little bit. It's not raining as much as it was earlier. So we can actually walk quite happily now. We're still walking around the lock um, and amongst all this beautiful woodland here. And while it's absolutely stunning to look at, I haven't been able to find any compositions yet. I know Kim's just found one down there. So I'm just going for a little wonder while she's doing her vlogging. I thought I saw some beautiful colours up here and where these trees are here. It looked good from away over there, so we'll just have to see if it lives up to what the, the eye sees. I 
I think we've found something. So Kim's way over that way. I'm going to be shooting this tree here. You can kind of really see it's there. It's framed perfectly and it's exactly what I've been looking for. We just came back to the van to get a coffee to heat up because we're freezing and we're going to go and shoot the sunset on Fentorn Beach. The light is gorgeous, so you can see that out the window there. It's looking promising, so we're going to go and shoot some sunset photos and then I'm going to end the vlog there. <laughs> find and uh, we're about halfway down the beach I'm sitting on stones <laughs> we're about halfway down the beach and the light just erupted all the the grass on the beach on the stones and stuff it just looks amazing it's all been baglet the camera bags covered in sand and I'm absolutely elated that light was just gorgeous what a way to end such a fantastic day I knew it was going to like be stunning but I didn't think it was gonna be that stunning that beautiful yellow hazy light just coming through the back of Culpin Forest and lit up all the stones and all the driftwood and all the grass and it just looked gorgeous so I got that shot and then I also got this driftwood kind of into Culpin Forest with a sort of very dramatic sky over there as well it just looks beautiful so I'm really really happy so I know today's been a bit of a mishmash of everything I'm going to be um, shooting again tomorrow so I'm going to film it all for you I should say a huge huge thank you to Kim Grant for taking me on a little tour of her hometown um, or this home area it's such a beautiful place it's got so much stuff you can photograph you're so spoiled up here um, so yeah thank you very much it's the first of many adventures in the new van definitely a little dip in the toe back into autumn photography again which I'm so excited to be shooting again so there's going to be much more of that coming up as well but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and if you like this video then like and subscribe and until next time I'll see you soon bye